What's up guys and welcome back to the Car Wars YouTube channel. So today we are going to be putting down some paint on the Corvette. So we glued on the inner fender. It is solid. We gave it a few days for the adhesive to bond. So now it is set. It's ready for paint. Peter's already at the shop where the paint booth is at. So I got to load this thing onto the trailer again and get it over there so we can get some paint and put on. So I'm gonna get this thing loaded on and I'll see you guys there. So you saw me load up the Corvette onto the trailer a bunch of times, but right now we gotta load up on this. Oh yeah, now I'm ready. Guys, believe it or not, but there is a C5 Corvette hiding in this pile. There's the LS1, also there is a LS6 with the LSA supercharger hiding somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. It's somewhere in this corner. Oh, look at this. LSA supercharger on the LS6. So we got some parts that came in. We got the front splitter, the side skirts. We're gonna open these up in a few minutes. And then the rear uh, spoiler. I'm actually super excited to show you guys. I think it's one of the best looking ones. All right, so this is a spoiler. So, this is gonna go here, but I gotta pull this piece off right here, and then, and then test fit it. The way these come, they still need to be finished. I mean, it says in the ad that they're still gonna need a little body work, and I mean, they look a little rough, but it's, it's, a, it's called a ZR1 extended spoiler. So, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be getting this thing uh, make it make the gaps all perfect and then Ed is probably going to be uh, getting the side skirts and the front splitter ready for paint and then we're going to spray it all together the, the side skirts front splitter and that roof piece and this is the front splitter I actually haven't opened this yet it is plastic but it looks like it's in really good shape should be able to just scuff it up. Now is this a ZR1 style or is it Z06? Z06 and ZR1 is the same thing. ZR1, Z06, same style. That's gonna look good. Okay, so these are ZR1 style side skirts. I'm actually super excited. They are plastic, they're not carbon fiber, but check these out. It's a ZR1 style side skirt. And then they come with little these little attachments, they go on the on the fender. But here's how they look. Boom, check that out. Man, that looks good. All right, so this is gonna be black. These parts are gonna be black. The lip is gonna be painted black. We gotta paint this blue, but first we gotta make it fit right. And we gotta paint this black. But here is the the actual color we're going with. This is a Porsche Riviera blue. Uh, the Fistral blue that we originally said we were gonna do by McLaren was actually a crazy pain. Uh, it took me like half a day to figure out that we can't get it. I called McLaren of Boston, McLaren of Dallas, and then McLaren in Florida somewhere. And they're like, you have to be a certified shop to even get this paint. So they said that you would have to bring in your McLaren and then they would order the paint and uh, then they would be able to, uh, McLaren will actually, the factory itself mixes the paint, there's no paint coat for it. So I told him that I'm busy, I can't bring in my McLaren. <laughs> <laughs> but I acted like I had one. So, but eventually, long story short, uh, you can't get it unless you're a certified McLaren shop they're the only ones that can get it. So we went ahead with something super close. And this is actually the Porsche Riviera Blue. So it's actually really close. And then I think Ford GT uses the same paint code, but I could be wrong. But as far as I researched it, I think they use the same same paint code. Okay, just imagine that. Ooh. That is gonna look hot. All right guys, but for now, we gotta start working. <laughs> So, I got this all block sanded, 
so this is ready and these are ready this is also sanded so this is all ready to get some black paint on it let's go see what Peter's doing <laughs> So this is what they talk about where they say it needs some adjustment. You see that gap? That's an uneven gap. So for those of you guys that think they can just buy it off eBay and have it fit, that's not true. And then look at this. And then even on this side it gets even worse. Look at that gap. That's not going to work on a Corvette. That's what I'm talking about, look at that. On a Corvette, come on. so look at this progress so Peter is building it up making it work so there's no gaps because there was really bad gaps so he filled them up he's forming it pretty much to the bumper so it was just perfect so he got some lines that he drew he's gonna have to cut it down so he's just working on that Trying to make that nice and perfect looking. Well, while he's gonna be doing that, I gotta swap these wheels because we gotta get them powder coated. So I gotta pull them off. I'm gonna be throwing on these off the C5. So I gotta dig them out, pull those wheels, and throw them onto that thing. that molding of the spoiler and in process that is not the prettiest looking but it's work in progress all right test fitting kind of moment of truth see if it is Sitting right. Oh, that's way better. That's how we'll yeah, adjust it. Well, that looks good. A lot better than that. <laughs> So the wheels are swapped, they need to go to powder coating, and then we got the wing pretty close. Peter got it really close, it is turning out really sweet. But unfortunately we won't be able to paint the stuff today, it is almost 2 a.m. again. We got work tomorrow, so we're gonna have to do this another day. All right, guys, welcome back. We're back at the shop again, and we're gonna be working on this, finishing up this wing. It's actually almost done. 
Peter's been working on it actually. He's been fine tuning it. So he got most of the little uh, pinholes and everything filled in. So we had to put some bolts in here uh, to, to tighten it down. They don't provide that. I mean, this actually, this lip, this wing comes unfinished. Probably the most unfinished product that you can get on eBay. We got barely a little bit left. Just uh, sand it down uh, and then it's ready for priming. Gave it two coats for now. Probably gonna hit it one more time. Just building it up. Make sure it fills up all the little holes. We'll hit it one more time and just let it sit for like two, three days to dry up. Hey guys, check it out. Look at that. What is it? You guys, guess. Throw some comments in the comment section. Oh. Look at that. Looks Ooh. blue, all right. <laughs> so deep. So check out this survival mode. It's getting late again. We can't go eat anywhere. We're trying to finish painting today, so... Got, got us the, some canned food. You gotta get the right ratio. Get the right ratio and... The microwave. Gotta drop it in the microwave. As long as it's hot, I think it's good. All right guys, so it's in the paint booth. Now we gotta take off the trunk lid, scuff this part up, tape it all up, and paint it black. Ended up just taking this top plastic off so the car doesn't even need to be in the paint booth when we're painting it that way we don't have to wrap it up in the plastic so we got all the parts that are going black in here we got this part in so we just gotta scuff it up and it's gonna be ready for paint Peter is degreasing all the parts and getting them ready for paint. So it is currently 3 o'clock, 3.05. And we are finally ready for some clear. Look at him. He's definitely ready to put some clear down. <laughs> the parts are ready. We're gonna start spraying. laid the clear all these parts are pretty much set we're just gonna let them sit overnight we are done for the night it's like 3 30 already uh, we're ready to go home Peter still has to clean the gun and all the tools but we are set you guys can go to sleep unless you're watching this during the day you guys don't forget to like comment subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one <laughs>